today we are going to discuss about cam profile at the end of this video you will be able to draw displacement diagram or cam profile with knife edge pullover and uniform acceleration so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management so let's see the description draw the profile of a cam operating a knife edge pullover from the following data Follower lift to 40 mm, that means stroke length, ascent angle 100 degree, the follower remains at rest, means dwell period, follower then descends to its original position during 90 degree rotation of the cam, that means descent angle, the follower remains at rest, means next remaining dwell period, the least radius of the cam is 50 mm, means radius of the base circle, the motion during ascent and descent is uniform acceleration. So very important part. The line of stroke of the follower passes through the axis of the camshaft. That means offset distance is zero. So there is no need to draw the offset circle as well as the tangent lines. This is the description as we have discussed and I have written over here with important points in the summarized form. So let's start with the displacement diagram first. So draw the horizontal line with random length. Then as stroke length is 40 mm, so the vertical line will be equal to 40 mm. Then draw the horizontal line again. Now First, you have to take the scale. So, here 1 centimeter is equal to 10 degree. So, that your length of the outstroke is equal to 10 centimeter. Then, next dwell is 80 degree. So, that the length of the stroke is equal to 8 centimeter. Then, ascent angle 90 degree. So, it is called as return stroke and the length of this return stroke is equal to 9 cm. And you can find the next remaining dwell as 90 degree by subtracting these three angles from 360. So you will get as 90 degree. And here this is the 90 degree dwell period. So if you can't accommodate the length of the remaining dwell is 9 cm in the sketchbook, then you can use this symbol. Now divide the outstroke into 6 equal parts and give the name as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And draw the vertical lines passing through all these points. Similarly, divide the return stroke into the 6 equal parts and give the name as 0 dash, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash up to 6 dash and draw the vertical lines passing through all these points. Now look at the description once again. The motion during ascent and descent is uniform acceleration and so that we have to divide the center line of this outstroke into the 6 equal parts and give the name as A, B, C, D, E and F. Now join 0A with straight line, then 0B, 0C. Similarly, draw the lines like this. Now mark the intersection point and give the name as A, B, C, D, E, F. Now draw the smooth curve which must pass through this 0, A, B, C, D, E, F. Similar process you can follow for the return stroke because for both ascent and descent uniform acceleration is given to you. So keep in mind that this process is for the uniform acceleration. 
if it is uniform velocity then it must be the straight inclined line so first divide the center line of the written stock into the six equal parts and give the name as a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and f dash now join 6 dash to a dash with a straight line then 6 dash to b dash and then 6 dash to c dash and remaining work you can understand now mark the intersection points and give the name as g h i j k l now draw the smooth curve which must pass through this g h i j k l and 6 dash now as you know that this is the dual period so it must be the horizontal line so this is your displacement diagram so keep in mind that in this displacement diagram only you have to draw this as a dark line the remaining work should be light so in the next video we will discuss about the cam profile if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video